10.30. I just finished setting up some Google Ads for a client. I'm always using my mundane tasks to learn stuff. Mmm, or something in my teeth. Good morning, family. Um, the time is 8.58 a.m. I'm feeling extremely groggy. Of course, just going to do some work now. Um... And we'll see how the day goes. The cold saw is healing up really nicely. I'm so happy about that because you know it made me feel really insecure. 10.30, I had our team daily huddle as we do every morning. I set up some Google ads real quick. Um, I also wrote some copy for a client. And now my stomach is growling so let's see what we can eat this is what i'm eating this morning i just made like some scrambled egg with onion and cherry tomatoes inside i put some cheese on my toast so i just finished eating and i thought that i would quickly share with you how i managed to consistently and continuously stay educated and learn stuff because i believe that learning is life and if you're not learning you're not growing and if you're not growing you're stagnant and nobody wants that for themselves because we are all here to achieve our highest self to live our truest purpose and that can only happen through consistent growth and growth comes from education cool so um how i always manage to stay educated even though my life is extremely busy um of course by now you know that i work a lot um i live a very scheduled life i have a lot of meetings that happen all in one time or within one day i have a lot of tasks that need to be accomplished and if i'm not scheduled and if i'm not planned i don't get everything done so that means that there's not a lot of time in my life to do educational things or to upskilling myself so there are three key moments in my day that i use to consume educational content one is when i'm washing the dishes Two is when I'm getting dressed off, just come out of the shower while I'm doing my hair, my makeup, that kind of stuff. And three is while I'm eating, which what made me, which is what made me think about just like telling you guys about this. So I consume a lot of YouTube content. I'm not a big podcast listener. I listen to a handful of South African based podcasts, um, but I consume a lot of YouTube content. That's kind of where I learn stuff. So I watch a lot of videos about entrepreneurship. I watch a lot of videos about running a business. Um, now that I've started this YouTube journey, I'm watching a lot of videos about how to grow a YouTube channel, you know, how to find your niche, all of that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I manage to continuously stay educated. It means that I'm learning. There are three moments in the day. I choose like 10 minute videos. I just watch them while I eat. I watch them while I'm getting ready. I watch a lot of ENCA, like on the news. Um, in the morning in particular so when i'm having breakfast and when i'm getting ready that's often when i am consuming news content so what's happening in south african politics you know what's happening within the city of cape town like that kind of thing so yeah i just wanted to share you know use try to use those times when you if you are someone that needs those times to be away from the screen or to be away from technology and you kind of just want to be present fully support that do what's right for you always but that's what i do to try and fit some consistent growth and education in my daily life whenever i feel like a dip in my motivation in the day i always try to hop in the shower it just helps me with like feeling refreshed and come back to my desk with like new energy especially since i can't leave the house and i'm not gonna lie today is day six and i'm slowly starting to lose my mind so what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna take my journal and i'm gonna journal for like 20 minutes it's just gonna help me to like get all of my thoughts i think the reason i'm feeling this way is because i have too many thoughts going on in my mind so i'm just going to take all of those thoughts i'm going to dump them onto a piece of paper it's just going to help me to feel refocused you obviously saw that i started out journaling and about two pages in i realized that what I actually needed was a pause and a moment of just not doing and that was a lot more helpful and therapeutic to me than journaling would have been. Also dealing with something quite intense in my personal life that coupled with work and 
you know feeling drained from being sick and still trying to work like normal job work um i think it was just a lot and i really just needed a moment because i haven't really paused in a long time i love this vibe i'm currently laying on my couch editing videos and just like looking out at this view makes me so happy Hey, yo, YouTube, what's up? Obviously getting bored of filming in my house and just like being in my house because I don't even know how to act anymore. I don't know where you know this. I'm a major drum and bass fan. 